Stimming of Kazakhstan. Well, some fairly unusual elements in that lift. First of all, this lifter is tall for the class, which is basically a way of saying thin. Nice, clean. Stands up and now very wide grip. I mean, he can almost snatch with that and then a power jerk. And the tape is coming off his thumb. Thumbs usually tape because the hip grip can tear the skin by your nail otherwise. It won't kill you, but it's, it uh, doesn't look pretty and can be a little painful. Mikhail Alzeev, who at the halfway stage, uh, Alzeev in uh, eighth place with only 180 kilos. But this is all very tight uh, in this second half here. Not much more than 10 kilos covering the whole field on their opening weights. And it's not only the technique that deserted him there, but I don't know, the, the, the desire didn't seem to be there. Yeah, he didn't seem to be a, like a raging inferno there, did he? No. As far as motivation. He might just be keeping it within himself. Everything here is different uh, than, than the last attempt. You're going to see a split jerk. You're going to see maybe, I think what you're touching on, Dave, doesn't seem to be fully committed as far as driving his body under that bar, getting under the weight. You drive the bar up, but you have to drive your body down under it. And you've got to be committed to that. And if you're tired, you know, particularly, you have some scary thoughts weighing on your brain. Yeah, I'm just looking at the body language there between coach and lifter, and, it, it, you know, there were not a lot of positives coming. Yeah, and here, here's the tiger kind of pacing in the cage. Akaya, the leader, going in. Unlike his teammate, he lets his lifting sort of speak for him. I love the way he's wearing the uh, Russian wrestling shirt as opposed to the Russian weightlifting shirt. Is that a message? <laughs> in, in, in room letters and gold. And, yeah. pick, me, pick me to rumble in London. <laughs> yeah, well, I, maybe he can't read it. Maybe he thinks it says something else. No, I wouldn't be so uh, unkind to him. Actually, what was very interesting, when he won the European Championship, um, and there were a bevy of reporters, because obviously it was in Russia, and one of the reporters asked him a question, and he went into, as I learned afterwards, because obviously I didn't understand what he was saying, a dissertation on life that went on for 15 minutes. Really? Without a second question. Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell you his view was later. Now, make amends, please, Mr. Alzeev. Much more fire. Just really go for this. Well, the clean was much smoother. Obviously, the jerk worked at least to the point they supported the bar overhead, but I don't think by very much. I think the margin of success in this jerk is pretty slim. Let's watch when he drives this bar up. Ideally, the arms will hyperextend and lock out and be rock solid, and his or neither walking around with the weight. Made it, but not by a lot. He's got one attempt left, and he's what 390 so he's 15 kilos short of his entered total it's not a problem but interesting to see whether we can make a third attempt really count but now barari for iran <clears throat> and i was going to say i suspect these two iranian lifters are going to be a little bit more comfortable with the clean and jerk we, we've already passed the B session too, it didn't take long. No. Yeah, that was uh, Shikel of uh, Poland who lifted 214. Actually, you say you passed the... Not in the clean and jerk we haven't. In the total. In the total. total. Right. Not quite like that. Yeah, although for first attempt, I don't know how easy it was. He's got those high-tech uh, latest thing knee wraps, or typical of the Iranian team. They seem to work just fine. 
Nice long pull on this. Looks like he's doing a little work to stand up. Deep breath. Pushes that up. Well, you know, it's pretty solid. Secures his total, which is uh, very good. He's got a 381. Now that's four kilos up on last year when he only made two out of six in Turkey. So that's progress. And here's his teammate, Nabab uh, Nazir Shalal, who did considerably better than Barari. He was in seventh place, 180 kilos he's bringing forward, which is not bad from the snatch phase. Very, very quick set of the jerk. Might have worked against him. And because he missed the jerk, everyone will say, oh, he should have paused longer. Some people don't take a lot of time getting set up in the transition. That's going to occur right now. Transition between the clean and the jerk. Pretty much moves from one to the other. And doesn't miss the jerk by a lot. And it's a position thing, but he does miss it. So it looks as if he's going to have to come out and follow himself, the two Iranians, the younger by a year. Yeah, that's uh, Nazir Shalal. And continuing your geography lesson of Iran, Randy comes from a place called Akhavoz uh, in the south, pretty close to the Iraq border. Now, I know I've had a really fine teacher, so don't take it personally if I flunk the test afterwards. A little mental rehearsal there. I was going to to seeing you know what it feels like, reminding himself what the motor skills are involved. What's the path that he's going to go through with the bar? Well, I can tell you tomorrow in the super heavyweights, we're going to take a journey around the South Pacific. Yeah, that was interesting. That, that was to help loosen up his shoulders at the last minute, sort of like doing a dislocate. That's what Bruce Baker was lifting his arms before to just kind of stretch out the shoulder joint again. Well, it's the first time I could actually say that the crowd didn't quite get behind him as perhaps we've experienced. <laughs> You're going to get worn out sooner or later, don't you think? Well, you see, his mate's got a, a total, and I'm sure both of them want to go home with a total here and a ranking. Good clean. Took that little bit of extra time, brings the left foot forward and completes. Yeah, really punches through on that. So the the shoulders bother me a little bit, David. I'm sorry to interrupt. You see him he reach around right away and you know, grab his trapped shoulder area. It's on his right side when he completes this left. Punches through on this, which is nice. Dip, drive, there it is, locks it out. There you can see how you push your head through. Now but he's going to reach up. There it is. Good thing, though, is that, you know, what they discussed backstage, they actually then went and executed. Now, here's the man who's in bronze medal at position at the halfway stage, Makavariani of Georgia, but not so strong in this second half. That's why he's coming in at 212. Ultimately, you know, he's got men who are going to open up on 220. So this is where, having got a bronze medal in the snatch phase, things are against him in terms of getting medals in clean and jerk or indeed in overall. 187 he's got. So he really needs to use this cushion. Well, he does the most important thing at this stage, which is have a successful lift, get on the board, get a total. Now he can start to pile on the kilos if he can. Yeah, because he's just under the 400 kilo mark uh, in the lead. Well, it wasn't elegant in the beginning of the snatch phase, but what I have to say is that, you know, actually, technically, his lifting is getting little by little a little better. Yeah. And now to uh, Kim. He's got a run of four good lifts going to you, which is really nice to see. Yeah. Kim, who's way down in 12th place at the moment. So at least he's secured his total. 
They can be a little worse when you come to a championship like this, when you fail to get a total and then you've got a, a long journey back home. Watch his elbows now as he gets set. See how he lifts them up for the jerk? Unlike the press where you drop them down, ideally you lift your elbows up for the jerk. Makavariani, by the way, who leads at the moment, just a kilo short of what he lifted to earn the silver medal in the European Championships. Incidentally, just uh, over the week, uh, nothing but praise for the Elico facilities and equipment used here at these World Championships. All of that side seems to have worked very well. In fact, the competition hall Although it's sort of squeezed in and there was a lot of fear that the warm-up room, which is extremely tight, would be difficult, it actually has worked. Yeah. Have you made it over to the training hall at all? Uh, that's big, isn't it? 47 platforms, each equipped with uh, Lyco set and squat racks. Bartholomew Bonk coming in at uh, 215 kilos. Now this interests me because he has dropped down five kilos. Now that's quite a considerable reduction. And it does suggest perhaps that you're not quite as confident. Although that looked very good. And that did too. You know, they probably realized the wise thing here is to take the road of better safe than sorry. You can always put more weight on the bar, but you can't take it off. Lifted 222 in the cleaning jerk of the World Championships, in which he finished fourth a year ago. But that was really nice on the clean, yeah. very economical. Yeah. It just rams this thing up. No doubt about that left. See, I'm putting him in to overtake Makavariani for one, to, you know, to go for the bronze medal. And I suppose, you know, Makavariani, 212, he's coming in 213, so he's closed the gap. He was two kilos down, he's now a kilo ahead. Efremov weighed in at 103.35, that's lighter than Bartholomew Bonk, which means that Efremov now momentarily at least goes into the lead in the clean and jerk. The second attempt for Sergei Estomi from Kazakhstan. As the lifter is dipping and driving, you can see the ends of the bars flexing. That's intentional. The bar is designed to do that. So five kilo increase here for Sergei Istomin from Kazakhstan. Just trying to push himself up here into the 390 total area. There's a collective woe from the crowd because we don't really expect that. Partly because of the very quick set, now. partly because of the very wide hand spacing, and partly because it's a power jerk. Now, one judge didn't like this. Let's have a look. I don't see the infraction. Do I you? can't from that angle, no. Might Maybe just happen too fast. I don't, still don't see anything wrong with it. I can see a little shaking, but I can't see a press out. No, I don't either. Don't get that at all. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Two white lights to red. Yep. He gets the lift. So leading Bartolome Bonk at the moment on 400. Second, Makavariani, 399. Overall bronze at the moment, Sergei Istomin with 393. And Adzeev, the man who hasn't exactly expired, inspired either Randy or myself today, coming out for 2.15. And this is not going to be good enough for a medal in the clean and jerk. And even if he gets it, I don't think he's going to survive in third place overall for too long. Too many yet to start. Watch the jerk. I mean, once again, there's not a lot of reserve on this jerk. Now, he doesn't have great lockout. Maybe he doesn't have uh, 
tremendous ability to, ge to generate force to drive the bar up and his body under it, but the, the right arm especially doesn't seem to want to lock out that well. And looks like he makes it, but just barely. Yeah, which is why his body language suggests that he's not a man of huge confidence on this particular stage, on this particular day. It may change in the future. Yeah, and, and what you're saying is interesting because actually it's rational, it's for good reason. The jerk is little suspect. So Makavariani, now putting six kilos on here. Pretty big jump. It, that suggests some confidence. Yeah, that's a kilo over what he lifted in Europe, which I have as uh, his best there, was 217 best ever there. And so what he is doing, he's actually defying the note that I wrote earlier on today, which said, this man is a low percentage lifter. And he's turning ah. this all around. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you write that? Well, he's having a good night, huh, David? Yeah, because he leads the game. Yeah, and he's doing the Dimas uh, look from side to yeah. side. He's ready, to, he's ready to win the Olympics, you know, in his mind. Well, compare him to the Belarus lifter. I still call. You know, that looks completely different. I mean, this yeah. man has belief, he has desire. Yeah. I mean, he may technically not be the best lifter in the group, but he's getting the job done. And as I say, he's defying those low percentage notes that I wrote, which were based on, you know, really what he's done yeah. in recent competitions. You know, he's a, you know, last year, 2009, he was like three out of six, two out of six, but five out of five, I mean, you've got to take your hat off to him now. 4.05 for Makavariani. And he actually had proposed 412. So clearly, the bar goes to 220. What's very interesting about weightlifting also is the fact that all these entry totals were actually put in, a, you know, more than a week ago. Right. And an awful lot can happen in the space of a week to your condition in the training hall. You can go up. You can also go down. Now, clock off. Silver medal position at the halfway stage with 196. Make of that. It's good, and he's, he's telling them, okay, that's the first one. Fairly conservative, I think, wanted to make sure he had a total was on the board. He's, got, he's chasing his, his teammate, and he's trying to avoid making an error, bombing out, putting too much pressure on himself, limiting what he can do. So I think he chose to have a conservative opener, and he succeeds with that. And of course, with the 196 that he brings forward from the first half, goes clearly into the gold medal position. Now to Rochti for the Ukraine. It's in the clean and jerk phase, Randy, that people like in years gone by, Igor Razorainov and Godfrey used to come from behind to actually take this title. So interesting what Tarokti can do here. 220. Yeah. Power jerk. Yeah, he, he's kind of showing, you know what, I'm strong too. Don't count me out of this. Nice lift. So brings forward 181. Pretty routine clean. It's going to get set. Bang. Look at that. And I tell you what, the crowd in the hall were impressed. <laughs> 
So just at the moment in the lead, Dmitry Klokov for 16, silver medal overall, Makavariani for 05, third place Bartolome Bonk still has two attempts left, 400 kilos, but momentarily we pause for Barari of uh, Iran, the bar going to 221 for him. And this would put him into first place in the clean and jerk and maintain his position in the top 10 overall. Well, it was a second attempt and he could have one more go at that, but he didn't really catch it on or catch it and get it onto his shoulders, so... You can have a couple of minutes, you can just see it here. Kim of Korea. Going for an eight kilo increase here to take him into the 390s. This would take him up to 393 and would move him up to lead the clean and jerk and also into the top 10 in seventh place. Ooh, oh, stuttered. Oh, really hard. He can't do that. Now, this will be interesting just to look on the replay here. Because I. <laughs> Bartolome Bonk. That relatively conservative opener of Bartolome's now beginning to make a little bit more sense. This is a six kilo increase. The leader at the moment is. Dmitry Klokov, but Makavariani is in second place on 405. This would take Bonk up into second place overall. 406. And he also fails in the first phase here on the clean. And he's now putting his chances of a bronze medal a little bit in jeopardy as a result of that failure. Just sp springs off the shoulder here as he goes back on his heels. So Efremov. Uzbekistan. So another man trying to get into the lead here on 221 in the clean and jerk because this is the way that's required for the gold medal position. Nope. And this has suddenly become a barrier for quite a few. But that's a failure at 221. Interesting to see what Tarokhti of the Ukraine can add because as these men run out of their second attempts it will give him a chance to try and close the gap on the men who were ahead of him in the second half or I should say in the first half of the competition. Tarokhti was on 181, Makavariani was on 187. So 221 has become something of a wall here. Khajimurat uh, Akayev of Russia, the leader at the halfway stage, yet to start. Okay. 
Barari at uh, 221, third and final attempt. He has got a total of 381, but of course this 221, if he gets it, then of course he does move into the gold medal position in the clean and jerk. That would be a terrific consolation prize if he was to do that and then things went his way and he ended up with uh, maybe a medal. But it's unlikely. Just uses the bounce there to get onto his shoulders, but petrol running out in his tank as well. Oh, that's a really good piece of fighting now. If he can hold it there, needs to wait for the down signal. That has come. Well, the crowd have really appreciated the effort. It's two to one against. Sorry, two to one in favor, which makes it a good lift. So let's have a look at this to see whether there was a press out infringement. Really difficult to see from this angle. There's a lot of wobbling around there, but I can't see a press out. Those arms look locked out. And it doesn't matter because he's got it. He's got a total of 391. More on that in a moment because this is Bartolome Bonk's last attempt. This man in fourth place at the moment. Now, if he lifts this, he goes first in the clean and jerk and second overall. But that was a very costly failure at 221. Has to work for the clean, but he's there. Big effort required to punch this above his head, which he does. Brings that left foot forward to be in line. That looks pretty good. And the white lights put him into the lead in the clean and jerk. And an overall medal position there. 221. Just a kilo short of what he lifted in Antalya in the clean and jerk half of the competition. But at the moment he's sitting on a total of 4.06. And 4.06 is his highest competition achievement as we see the man who leads at the halfway stage to come out to take his first attempt at 2.22. This is 15 kilos short of the world clean and jerk record set by Alan Chagayev of Bulgaria. <laughs> no worries there. And immediately goes back into the lead with a total of 420 kilos. And now... Have a look at this. This is really good. Very quick. Quick split. Strong overhead. Going about his work uh, quietly. Now, this would be incredible for Makavariani. This is for six out of six. He's in fourth place at the moment, so this is to go into the leading clean and jerk and overall third. He's behind Bartolome Bonk, who is trying to overtake Bonk at the moment, currently in second place, so this is crucial. Oh, yeah! Five out of six, it's been a brilliant evening so far for him. Oh, yeah! Can he finish it off? My goodness gracious me, he has. He has, he's made six out of six. And on occasions, it may not have looked pretty, but the Georgian has done it. Gia Makavariani, the European champion, has followed up his silver medal performance with a total of 409 kilos. 
And how good is this? Look how hard he worked for this. First place in the clean and jerk. Third place overall. And that's nine kilos up on what he did in Kazan. It's his best ever total at 105 kilos on a competition stage. And now we revert to Mr. Efremov. Now, again, Efremov, if he lifts this 222, because of his body weight, he will go into the lead in the clean and jerk. This is what he's got his eyes on, the Uzbek. A medal in the clean and jerk. Not to be. The weight really telling there when he tried to put it over his head and... And the weight too great on this occasion. So the loader's making sure that the bar is all clean and sanitized there because from lifter to lifter you get bits of skin and sometimes some blood. So really important the job they do. And now Nazir Shalal, 223. What a moment for him. Never mind what he's doing in terms of the total, but first in the clean and jerk, that would be some achievement if he can go in a first place here in the clean and jerk. Very big question he's asking of himself here. He's got the clean. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Iran producing competitors in these heavyweight classes. And that is a terrific achievement. That's a heck of a, that's a 12 kilo increase from the second attempt, which was successful. I mean, that is 403 kilos he's totaled. And he's up into fifth place. And that is two kilos beyond what he posted as his aspired total. Well, this competition isn't over yet. So the clean and jerk is led by Iran. In silver medal position is Makavariani of Georgia. In bronze is Akayev. And Klokov still waiting in the wings. And this is Kim. <laughs> 11 kilo increase on his successful first attempt and he's cleaned it. And he goes into the lead in the clean and jerk. Well, what an amazing competition this is. The overall title is the treasured title, but the clean and jerk offers huge compensation to one or two lifters who were too far off the pace at the halfway stage. But my goodness, the gold medal at the moment in the hands of Kim in terms of the clean and jerk, 224. So Kim of Korea in the lead in the clean and jerk. The Iranian Nazir Shalal in silver medal position. The bronze Makavariani now. And Dmitry Klokov with 225. Second attempt. This to go first and first, ahead of Akayev, his teammate, to lead the clean and jerk and to lead the overall. <laughs> Clock off, cleans and jerks. And he made that look so simple. So 421. 
That's the total for uh, clock off. Akayev has now got 420, is in second place overall. So place is changing all the time at the moment. Makavariani still in third overall, but he's out of the medals in the clean and jerk, of course. The phone is already ringing. I don't know why it took so long. Because we know he wants much more. So the chess game really now beginning to play out between the two Russians. Two hundred and eight kilos. Two hundred and twenty-eight kilos, the uh, Next weight asked for Akayev, for whom this will be a second attempt. This will be a six kilo increase. So, Klokov just got the lead for Russia. This man about to try and take it back for himself. So this will be for 426 kilos. And that is a kilo more than he lifted to take the European title when he got six out of six. And he's heading that way again. What a competition. Makavariani with six out of six. Klokov could get six out of six. So could Akayev. And this is real quality lifting here. 426. We're right up there. Dawenga, who's absent through a shoulder injury. Won the title last year with 415. He did 421 in 2009 when he won it. The Olympic title was won with 436. But if you go back down the records, you will see that this sort of weight has not been achieved very often. Dennis Gottfried of the Ukraine lifted 430 in 1999. And Tarokti now. Now, if he gets this, he pushes Makavariani out of the overall medals. As I said, it's uh, something that we've seen from Ukrainian lifters to come late in the clean and jerk. 2.29 on the bar. No. But he does have one more opportunity. Makavariani clinging on to the overall bronze medal at the moment. Right now we will have two minutes to decide if that's the way he wants for his third last So, Akayev in the lead with 426. Clock off 421 in silver medal position overall. Makavariani 409. And when you lift that six out of six, you deserve reward. So, this nine kilo increase is to get ahead. It would give uh, Tarokti, who's got to come out again. As you see, clock off. If Tarokti uh, comes out and gets this, then he would go uh, to 410. And because he's heavier than Makavariani, that's why he needs the nine kilo increase. So it's high stakes poker for that uh, bronze medal position. A position which uh, at one time Bartolomé Bonk of Poland could have contested, but Crucial failures, leading the clean and jerk, Akayev with 2.28, Klokov in second place with 2.25, Kim of Korea on 2.24, so if Tarokti, who's coming out on stage now, here he is, now if he gets this, okay, he's going to push Makavariani out of the overall medals. He's going to also push Kim out of his clean and jerk bronze. So a huge lift. It's going to affect a lot of placings and people and their medals. Stop. Not a bad clean. Much better than the previous attempt. Oh, now needs to stand still. That looks pretty good to me. And Tarokti has done it at the third time of asking. And Tarokti moves himself up to 410 kilos. And compare that to what he did in the European Championships this year, 385. 
That's 25 kilos improvement. And it's the first time since 2009 that he's broken the 400 kilo barrier. He did 405 back in 2009. But now it's the two camps of the Russians here. Clock off. One attempt. A KF. One attempt. 232 on the bar. Five kilos short of the world record. This to go back into the lead in the clean and jerk and in the total. Adding seven kilos there to go to 428. So Akayev, who's on 426. And Akayev, of course, he weighed in at 104.44, clock off at 104.60. So this is all about winning the title and he's looking for seven more kilos here. Akayev, 2.22, 2.28, now looking for 2.32, which is four kilos. Four kilos increase to take him to 4.30. So, this for the championship of the world. If he makes it, he takes it away from his teammate Dmitry Klokov. Otherwise, it goes to the Russian in red. <laughs> and it's Akayev, the European champion, who is now the world champion. 30 kilos and they are standing on their feet here for an outstanding 105 kilo championship with two Russians lifting lift for lift to make it six out of six and Makayev is coach in the background congratulating him less fireworks than clock off but now we can rejoice and Russia have won their first men's title at the 2011 Worlds. The goal to Khadzimurat Akayev, who adds the European title to the European title, adds the world title. And Dmitry Klokov, who was runner-up in the World Championships last year and missed out on body weight, once again forced to settle for the runners-up spot. And how hard is that for Klokov, who in the past has finished third in the world in 2006, third in the world in 2007, the runner-up in 2010, and now again in 2011, and he was the runner-up in the Olympics in 2008. The man who almost gets there, but not quite. But Akayev, well, he has done it. He's now the world and European champion and will look forward, I'm sure, to London 2012 to try and get the one gold medal that he hasn't got, and that is the Olympic gold. He won silver in Athens at 94 kilos. He won bronze in Beijing at 94 kilos. And in the clean and jerk, Khadimura Rakaya takes the gold. Klokov gets the silver and the bronze medal goes to Torochti, who as a result of lifting those 229 kilos is also the bronze medalist overall. And spare a thought for Makavariani who lifted six out of six, one of his best ever competitions and just gets bumped out of the medals, but at least he's got a bronze in the snatch. There we have on the screen for you the clean and jerk results 
perfect lifting by the Russians, blow for blow, punch for punch, counter punch, and they give Russia a 1-2. But Tarokhti comes with that traditional Ukrainian rush in the clean and jerk phase to deny Makavariani and the likes of Barthelemy Bonk to take the overall third with another personal best. And Klokov, well, unfortunately for him, it's runners-up spot again. But there you have 430 kilos there for Khadzimorat Akayev. And that is a super total because if 